can't hear it. Right on the left. Sometimes it's a little like this in your hand that comes through. Or they'll just crap on your head. <laughs> <laughs> They scare easily. Yeah. I forget what the name of the bird was. It's red. And it has a, it's very small, about this big. Uh, it's an, one of the exotic birds, like an African something or other. Oh, it's a No, it's smaller. Um, and it likes to pick the inside of your teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one right here. It's up top there. I already found one that's blue, and you've got a, a gray, gray, baby blue head. Yeah. Very much hard. Oh, maybe. Yeah. It's harder to keep. I don't think you can see him from out there, but. Well, he's next to the green one, and a little green one just landed next to him. Oh, no, no, no. Up top, we have a green spike. Oh. Oh, oh. Once I All have right. the feed well, crazy. It's already recording, so you talk to the birds too. They say what's up, hello, why? <laughs> Can I take this in there? Yeah. You'll be surprised. It's alright, you can just let it fall. There you go. How do you do this one? This one pushes? What would you like? Can I do the three for five? Yep. Can you just give me one at a time? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you like, yep. Yeah. yeah. You want this? Okay. 
<laughs> She's got Klingons. See, you could like have a, a cage full of those. You dip a stick in peanut butter and nuts or whatever and it's like you dip it in here and then you dip it in this cage and you come out with a bunch of birds. <laughs> Sandy next door's friend, or Sandy next door friend, Kay Young, has a whole bunch of birds like this. Uh, parakeets and a couple cockatoos and macaws and some other ones. 